Bishop Ed here again. Thank you for taking a few moments to tune into this video message that I want to provide in order to reach as many of the faithful of our diocese as possible. It's an important one that has long-term implications for the training and formation of priests here in our diocese. Today we have announced that after this current academic year, we will cease operations of the diocesan seminary Christ the King, given the very steep challenges that have been confronting the excellent staff, faculty, and board of trustees of the seminary now for many years. Although I know this message is a difficult one to hear, given the legacy of superb academic and spiritual formation that has been carried out by Christ the King for over a century, we face a situation that requires us now to think imaginatively about how best to foster what Pope John Paul II referred to as the human, intellectual, spiritual, pastoral, and academic needs and requirements of those who are called to priestly life. The fact is that the Board of Trustees has concluded that it is no longer feasible to continue the operations of the seminary, given persistent operating deficits which total in excess of $500,000 on average annually, as well as other factors that include declining enrollment, the need to make significant capital improvements to the facilities, the need for diocesan and subsidies that are no longer sustainable, and the requirements imposed by the accreditation process that will necessitate further investments in the programs of the seminary. Moreover, we have an obligation to all the seminarians who are enrolled at Christ the King, and especially to those from other dioceses, to give them the benefit of time to identify other options for their priestly formation. Let me be clear, this isn't just about numbers on the balance sheet that no longer add up. We are fully committed to attracting, educating, and forming priests for the future needs of our diocese. I believe we have a unique opportunity to reimagine priestly formation, guided by the understanding that it is the entire community of faith which is responsible for fostering vocations. It isn't that institutions make good and holy priests, as much as it is the faith community to which they belong, their schools, their families, and their parishes. This grassroots viewpoint and approach, I believe, offers the prospect of creating a dynamic of engaged community in this essential mission of cultivating religious vocations. Men and women who are committed to and prepared for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in the 21st century and all that that entails. We know that priests are required to be more than spiritual leaders. They require business acumen, skills, and at managing properties and parish assets knowledge of human resources in many cases, and many other aspects that are necessary to running parish communities responsibly and successfully. And of course, they need to be emotionally mature and well-adjusted. Individuals who are indeed in pursuit of holiness for themselves and capable of leading others to holiness. They must be morally anchored and be persons who are ultimately accountable. Toward that end, I am appointing a special steering committee that will look at other models around the country and make specific recommendations for how best to promote and cultivate priestly vocations here in our Diocese of Buffalo. The committee will also be tasked with examining and proposing ways and means by which pastoral training and formation of candidates for the diaconate and other essential lay diocesan ministries can be carried out something that Christ the King has also facilitated. Finally, the steering committee will be looking at the sizable property that was generously donated in the 50s, but which is currently occupied in only 10% of capacity. They will offer recommendations for what might ultimately become the facilities going forward. This, of course, includes the sale of the property and facilities and other available options. I would also to make abundantly clear that this decision to cease operations of Christ the King Seminary is in no way a reflection of the truly dedicated and accomplished faculty and staff who have worked tirelessly to sustain the seminary these past several years and who have committed generously their own personal resources to preparing young men for priestly life. 
these men and women of the administration, faculty and staff and board are truly exceptional and we could not be more grateful for all that they have contributed and made possible under sometimes very difficult circumstances. We will, of course, communicate further on this important development and also share with you the work of the steering committee in the coming weeks. In the meantime, I ask each and every one of you to pray daily that God will inspire in men and women of our community the urge, inclination, and passion to serve Him in religious vocations, committing their minds, hearts, and spirits to the urgent work of making known the good news of Jesus Christ. Never have vocations been more needed, and it is the responsibility of us all to create a culture in which the prospect to pursue such a life of service is not only one option among many, but one that an increasing number find compelling and irresistible. Thank you and God bless you for your faithfulness and support for our local church.